guys, this is Courtney from Killing It With Coupons. Here is my Office Depot haul for you guys this week. Everything you guys see here would have cost me $52.91. I paid $19.23 plus $1.53 in tax. And I saved $32.15. I will get back $9.18 in mail and rebates, which is um, on a visa prepaid card making my net cost actually ten dollars and five cents so i actually did this in two separate transactions and one my dad wound up actually paying for kind of because i wasn't sure if i wanted to do i actually didn't have enough of my separate couponing money um which is i get a separate amount of money for my couponing um from the whole grocery stuff so even though what you guys see is my grocery hauls um it's not entirely all of the groceries that we wind up buying that week but i have an 80 dollar limit and i just if i don't spend all 80 dollars, i put that aside and can use it for next week and such so i didn't have enough for the um this paper actually this week but my dad wound up paying for this and then um he's gonna get back the mail and rebate on a prepaid card so he's only it works out to be two dollars and i'll show you guys how that is um but yeah, so that's why I had to do it in two separate transactions. And um, the, uh, what was I going to say? I can't remember. <laughs> um, but yeah, so um, I'll show you guys that. The first deal, like I said, I'll just get that out of the way, is the um, the fill, the copy paper. And my dad uses the printer and my mom does more. Um, so I, I was like, well, I don't really need it. I mean, you guys might need it, but I don't know how much more we have. So that's why he just, I, you know, I gave him the option. I was like, if you want to pay for it, you can pay for it. So, um, but down here, you guys can see that was $6 and 59 cents. And then you get back a $4 and 59 cent mail and rebate, making them $2 a piece. And it is a limit of two as well, but it's a really good price for these. Cause they're normally, like I said, you know, they're $6 and that was, I believe the retail price actually of them. So I'll show you guys what that looks like on the receipt. Um, they uh, were thirteen eighteen, and then paid a dollar oh five in tax, um, which was fourteen twenty three. It's actually, I believe, the retail price of it because there was no savings attached to it. So then, the rest of the school deals for this week. Um, the highlighters this week. These are twenty five cents, which is really good, I think, for the free pack. Um, they are yeah twenty five cents. The uh, school glue. The um, glue sticks, these are also 25 cents and they're a limit of three as well as these. Um, and my brother does need these for school so it was really good. He also needs highlighters. Um, and then the eraser, or the sharpeners again, 25 cents. These are a limit of three. The uh, Sharpie markers, these are uh, 25 cents as well, I believe. Um, and they are, again, also a limit of three. And then the composition notebooks, these are 10 cents and these are also a limit of three, or these, the Sharpies are a limit of five, I'm sorry. These are a limit of three and then the Crayola markers are 50 cents and these are a limit of three as well. So um, I'll show you guys my receipt. So as you guys can see up at the top, the composition notebooks were 30 cents for all three. These were the crayons, which were $1.50 for all three. The uh, highlighters, which were, oh, I'm sorry, those were 50 cents. A piece. Those weren't uh, 25 cents. Those were 50 cents. And those wound up being $1.50 um, for all three. And then the uh, glue sticks were 25 cents each. Then these were the um, Sharpie markers, which were 25 cents a piece. Um, and then the sharpeners, which were 75 cents for all three, which is 25 cents a piece. So I want to pay $6.05 for everything. And after tax was $6.53 and saved $32.15. So awesome deals, especially because this is stuff that I need, um, or my brother, my little brother will need for school. Um, so yeah, and like I said, it's a really good deal as well on the copy paper because it works out to be two bucks and that's pretty good. And throughout the year, if you stock up now, it's a good deal because you won't get deals quite as well as that. Um, and I know that Office Max sometimes has that where you get like the whole thing for a penny after mail and rebate. Um, but Still, I, I've, I've never, now that I guess it's an Office Depot and an Office Max combined, but I never had an Office Max real close to me, so I never really ever got to do that deal. But this is still pretty good. But, yeah, anyway, that's it for this week. Um, I will talk to you all next week. Also, um, if you guys would have a haul from this week, I would love to read so you hear about it via video, picture, or comment. You guys can also find these deals and more posts on my blog, killingitwithcoupons.com. You guys can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, Instagram, and Tumblr. I will post links to all of those in the description below. Also, if you guys would, please subscribe, and I will talk to you all next week. Bye, guys.